Uh, hi friend, my name is Chandramani and you are watching uh, group policy from zero to hero. So in the last uh, uh, video we had understand about the block inheritance and enforcement and in this video we will talk about uh, a resilient set of policy uh, which called RSOP and how we generate the report in the client side. So this is very important when we are troubleshooting in the group policy in the client level. So let's uh, uh, go to our uh, this is our DC okay let me log in with the num members of okay I have logged in it so to what exactly do the RSOP okay and how we use that tool you know uh, RSOP okay for that what I will do here I will open the command prompt or you can open the run as well not an issue there also you can put the RSOP.msc okay here I can type RSOP dot MSC so this is the very important tool when you are troubleshooting with group policy in this tool you can uh, check the settings what policies you have replied in your you know um, server so everything you can check on it right some policy you have been pushed from your domain controller and it is not applied that is not reflect here so how you can troubleshoot that is what we need to understand here okay so when you you know open the rsop.msc so this window will open here it is a test one server that is okay test one is a username on the members so this is the server name and the tool is rsop so we have opened so how you know that in computer configuration what computer level policies we have applied if you go to the properties okay see it is only applied default domain policy okay so let me log in this uh, server as well domain as well so we can compare and understand how things are applying uh, okay let me open the group policy management console okay so oh, okay where that member server is there in workstation OU right that is the IND member one server if you go to the group policy uh, I think if you uh, watch all the parts of mine then you can understand okay so it is worked uh, I mean applied in workstation double right and this policy which policy is applying when we could see here only one policy default domain policy is applied other policies are not applied for this server do you know why it is not but we have applied right this has been applied a lot of policies we have been applied audit lo logon policy discord policy if you see here it has been also applied event log policy and default domain policy right and uh, yeah event log size policy default domain policy it has been applied here in the workstation but it event log size policy is not showing but only default domain policy is only showing why why what is the problem so we understand this issue so I mentioned here some you know command that is the GP result okay so I will show you how we will use this this is very important tool when you are troubleshooting but here you just understand which policy is applied right but why other policies are not applied yet you can understand from here let's open the uh, GP result R -E -S -U -L -T. so if you don't know the command what you need to use, just you know give the slash and you know question mark you will get all the command all the syntax all the switches how to use it okay so as we are troubleshooting here what I will do it GP result I will put R here okay so this will give me the completely result okay and just to the CLS completely and put the GP result R so if you see here uh, okay the following GPUs are not applied because of uh, were filtered out you got filtering not applied the policy okay so if you see here if you go up go up see uh, here it is default applied group policy default dom domain policy and the following GPS were not applied because of were filtered out you remember we had created some uh, filtering right and that is been applied correct if you see here we have created some filter 
Windows 10 machine only apply right that is the return reason it is not applying so where we have event log size policy to applied right so that's the reason the event log size policy is not applied okay local group policy has not applied <coughs> see it is name also because of wmi filter windows 10 pc that is event log size policy so it is very easy way to understand why it is not applied and how you know uh, uh, applies i mean um, you can troubleshoot you know the issues on the group policy these tools are okay so this is what in in um, command prompt only you can see right let's let's this import this cls let's import this you know things to txt file use the same command here and you can put this like you know see result dot txt that will be fine sorry okay result dot txt oh, why it is not coming the report <laughs> can be use this one yeah now it has been generated so you can get the things uh, there also like if you uh, cd c you just open this in the c drive why it's not okay cls and result right you just open it so same thing we get an output as a text file as well now we will do the html file also we can do it but for that very simple command you can use instead of this you just instead of r make it h okay so it's called html file will be give so you can write uh, result one dot html okay so might be this will not accept here okay just remove this and put it i'm sorry double okay so what i will do here instead of this I will do this way the name already exists okay oh that's the reason so what I will do here mark it to okay now it's been generated because there will be an existing name that's the reason we you know get this error so if you want to open your the file you can open it, it. like uh, we have result to write sorry result two yeah see in the HTML format also you can get okay so here you will get which policy is applied and what are the WMA filter and the versions also in the policy version I explained right about the AD you know and this volume and I explain about the version 3 and 3 these are the version also okay so everything you can get it here also about what the policy is applied what policy is not applied in this html format also this is what you know i just you know this is the last uh, part actually not the last part we have other parts also in this uh, series but uh, for you know troubleshooting in the client side this is the last part so now you know you should understand how the GPO determines which GPO uh, it should process and how to find you know find them and uh, do the zip link attribute I explain if you remember in the last video I explained about the GP link attribute right that is the main reason who links your GPO and you should you should also understand the order in which uh, they are processed and how decision are made about which policy you know settings to apply when you know there are conflicts you know you i told you right the last policy will be in right when the conflicts will happen and how to you know block and enforce settings within your environment 
and i also you know showed how to uh, use the couple of tools to see which you know uh, so now you should understand how a GPO uh, determines which GPO it should process and how to find them and um, I mean through the JP link you know uh, earlier time if you remember I explained here in right uh, if you remember here I explain most of these things above if you see right GP link GPO link right I already explained and we saw the uh, you know GP GP edit you know I mean ADS I edit there we could see you know the attributes how we can set for the object everything right and you should also understand the order in, in which they were uh, they are processed and how the decisions are made about which policy settings to apply when they are conflict you know which will be win and which will be lost you know the last policy will be win right so and how uh, to block and enforce settings uh, within your environment and I also you know showed you right uh, um, how to use couple of uh, tools like you know uh, resilient set of author uh, your set of policy and uh, 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 I mean uh, GP result all right so I mean this will help you in your you know GPU environment uh, and uh, when you understand and troubleshooting policy in your environment so this will definitely will help you so in the next po post I will you know uh, I will finally get the client side extension if you remember um, uh, see uh, if you remember this I didn't mark it because still it is there right I need to explain about the client side extension even though I explain uh, but I, I don't I don't I want to be a deep on this so it is very important when you are troubleshooting on the group policy the next part will cover and there are a lot of replication thing and everything there are a lot of things also there will cover so please watch the series completely you definitely will master in gpo thanks for watching this video